I hear you are an ethical individualist. Is that true? Yes, it is true. I am an ethical individualist. An ethical what? What do ethical individualists do, anyway? The goal of the ethical individualist is to carry out ethical aims, grasped by pure intuition. So, what you mean is that you get an idea of what to do, and then you do it. I got an idea. Let's get smashed. Yeah, cool. Hey, Mr. Ethical Individualist, I've got news for you. You do not become a moral person just because you have an idea of what to do. If everyone does whatever they please, there would be no difference between a good deed and an evil one. Cool. It's all good. You did not understand what I said. The goal of the ethical individualist is to carry out ethical aims, but these ethical aims are first grasped by pure intuition. What is pure intuition? You mean that gut feeling you feel inside? A gut feeling could be the first inkling of an intuition, or it could be indigestion. I mean something much more than that. This goal is attainable only by raising yourself to the intuitive world of ideas. Look, you can fly. No, I cannot fly. But I am capable of pure reasoning. Having the capacity of pure reasoning allows you to think out for yourself the ethical principle to apply in each particular case. If you lack the ability to think, you will never rise to the level of genuine individual willing. You do not know who we are, do you, Mr. Ethical Individualist? We belong to a club. You've got to be an individualist to get into a club. We the individualists like to party, in our individual way. Your instincts, urges, and passions establish no more than that you belong to the general species Homo sapien. Your animal cravings and social conformity is not individual. In fact, they are quite common. You are the sort of man, of whom there are twelve to the dozen. In truth, only an act, of will, that springs from intuition, can be an individual one. What is individual in me, is my unified world of ideas, that lights up within me. You can not, regard evil, as an expression of human individuality but rather to what is most common. The blind instinct, that drives a person to crime, does not spring from intuition. Indeed, the characteristic feature of criminal actions, is precisely, that they spring from the non-ideal elements in a person. An action is free, when the reasons for it spring from the ideal part of my individual being, All action, that is done under the compulsion of nature, or under the obligation imposed by a moral norm, is unfree. You will only be free, when, in every moment of your life, you are able to obey only yourself.